for free video recording and live streaming, Open Broadcaster Software Studio or OBS Studio is the first choice of many content creators. In this video from Envato Tuts Plus, we'll show you how to switch between scenes using animated transitions, including setting up transition effects, studio mode, and using custom hotkeys. When you move from one scene to another in OBS, you have the option to use visual effects. First, let's set up two scenes to switch between. I'll call them Test Scene 1 and Test Scene 2. For each of those scenes, I'll add a source. So in this case, it's two window captures, a browser with Envato Elements on one, and a browser window with Tuts Plus and the tutorial that accompanies this video in the second. As things are, once you've created your scenes, clicking between them will do a quick fade. You can see fade pre-selected on the right hand side under scene transitions. If you click the drop down box next to fade, you'll see another option, cut. However, click the plus sign underneath and you'll see even more options. Let's stick with fade for now, but change the transition time to slightly longer so that we can see the effect better, and then click between scenes. Next we'll look at studio mode. To activate it, click studio mode on the bottom right. You'll see that you've now got two screens, one that says preview and one that says program. Preview is just what it sounds like, an editing screen where you can see any changes you make to scenes and sources before they go live. If you click the transition button between the two scenes, you'll make what's on the preview screen go live to the program screen. This means you can safely make edits without your audience seeing. As you'll know from other programs, hotkeys are really useful shortcuts to your favourite settings. In OBS, you can assign a hotkey to each of your scenes so that you can transition between them. Open up Settings and go to the Hotkeys tab. In the field labelled Switch to Scene, choose the key that you want to use as a shortcut. For example, if you wanted to use F1 as a hotkey to change scenes, you would press F1. Repeat these steps to create more hotkeys. If you're working in studio mode, using your hotkeys to switch between scenes won't change what's happening in your live video, they'll only change in the edit window. So additionally, you might want to set up a hotkey for the transition button so that you can easily switch scenes into live view. You're now set up to use animated transitions between scenes in OBS Studio, work in studio mode and create custom hotkeys to make your edits quicker and easier. Thanks for watching and we hope you'll join us for more tutorials here at Envato Tuts Plus.